Well, I really messed up last week and went really fast and my two flies so that I got to be in it again. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, I was so nervous before that two fly, I just know how much it was going to hurt. But um, I'm super proud of Kat next to me. She improved so much from last week and got really important points. So going one, two, and that was really huge. Um, and thankfully they give me some time to like change. And so I just have that and then the, the skin so I can like really flush out my legs because they really hold a lot of lactic acid. And so I knew Beta was going to be really tough. She is a racer and for seeing her 4 a.m. I knew she was going to be there the whole way. So I did put a lot more energy into that first 50 because I knew it was a much a stronger field than the skins a week ago. So it did hurt a little bit more that last 50, but it was really fun having Beta there. It was more painful, but it went by faster having a teammate alongside me. Yeah, I mean, what, <clears throat> what has it been like to do skins two weeks in a row? Well, this is my first year ever doing skins. I, they, we've never had a meet where we've got to do uh, skins fly, fly for girls. So uh, I wanted to make sure they made the right decision and <laughs> give them some confidence. And uh, it's been a blast. I've honestly been really surprised with how I've been racing, but assuming that, oh, good 200 fly and hanging on um, and having good relays on day one and has given me a lot of confidence that I can hang on those second and third rounds of the skin. So it's been a blast. I'm so grateful I've been able to do it and hopefully we'll be able to do more fly women skins in the future. Yeah. Um, and then from, from more of a team perspective, this was a roller coaster of a match, right? You guys were <clears throat> down on London after day one, a little bit, you know, I, I think less than 20 points. Um, and then they, they went all the way up to 50 plus, I think ahead of you. And then, you know, coming off the women's skins, I think you guys were closing really quickly and within 20 again. Um, but Jeff, <clears throat> can you talk about, um, the, the makeup of the team and, and the adjustments you had to make from day one to day two, obviously knowing you wouldn't have Caleb on day two and then just, you know, knowing how formidable London was. Yeah. I mean, London's a great team and, and yeah, we knew Caleb was going to be out. Uh, we had a couple others too, that we, that we rested and want to take care of them and make sure that they're focused on the next meet and they're taking care of themselves. And we're really building our team towards that. Um, sorry, I can yeah. hold it. sorry, there you go. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, we leaned on the team that way and they really stood up and, and came together and I couldn't be more proud of this, this team. I don't, I don't feel that we really lost this meet actually. Mm -hmm. Um, we, we're going to come out of this stronger and, and really that much more prepared going into semifinals and finals. And when we put our full team together, I, I think mm -hmm. people should watch, look out. We had a lot of curveballs. I'm really proud of how everyone stepped up. I mean, we, we took us almost an hour to get to the pool. So half of us walked part of the way because it was just, we were just stuck in traffic. There's like an amusement park right next door. So all the Italians apparently wanted to get to the amusement park. And so I think everyone stood up um, and did a really good job. We were taking volunteers on the bus for some of the races. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm really proud of everyone. Everyone stepped up really well and we have a great team. What a day. So, um, yeah. And then just in the in-betweens, how do you feel like the training has been? And um, Kelsey, for you as an athlete, Jeff, for you as the coach, how do you feel like you've been able to manage that training? Obviously, knowing everyone's sort of in a different spot, you know, some, some are coming off Olympics just a few weeks ago. Some have kind of been training into this. Um, how do you guys manage that personally? Uh, from from our, my perspective, as we came into this, we knew people are going to be in different spots, right? So we really wanted to approach it on, on an individual basis and make sure they were getting what they needed. And then from there, we've started to group together and it's worked out great. The teammates from different areas and, and different countries even can group up and, and do what they need on that particular day. And it, they've been switching around and I think it's worked really well for our team. I'm having a blast. We've been training outside, so you might not tell, be able to tell really tan right now. And so... <laughs> It's been so much fun. I'm just trying all different practices and um, I really enjoy getting to train in, in the different styles. And uh, I think our, it's worked really, really well so far.